fans pack the pavilion, it can sound like this. But for Aggies guard Rogers Printup, this is how he hears the crowd. It's just a lot of mumble noise. And then like on the court, you know, everything seemed a little bit quiet because the, the outside noise uh, takes over. Dealing with something we all take for granted, Rogers was born functionally deaf. As my parents tell the story, uh, they said a fire, a fire alarm had gone off and uh, I didn't react to it as uh, the other kids did. And obviously loud, kids were screaming. I was kind of just sitting there playing my toys, didn't think much of it. And uh, that kind of set the alarm off that uh, I know there's something probably wrong. While learning to process sound, for Rogers, the approach has been to not let his disability define his ability. Being pronounced deaf uh, as a kid, um, you know, a lot of people doubted me, uh, thought my uh, opportunities were going to be limited, um, but my parents, they stuck by me. Uh, they didn't want me to uh, learn sign language. They wanted me to speak. Uh, they felt like I'd have more opportunities in life. The 6'4 senior picked up a basketball at the age of three and hasn't stopped dribbling since. He's an elite level shooter, really shoots it at a high level. I shoot the ball very well. That's one of my strengths. A deaf Division I athlete playing a game where communication on the court is key. Good I'm having conversations with people, I read lips. That's just to just uh, kind of help me understand what they're, what they're saying a little bit better. And that's just kind of a skill that I've had. I tease him sometimes. It probably comes into play that maybe when I'm yelling at him, you know, he just tones me down just even a little bit more, which is probably pretty good. So, uh, but the fact that we can joke about it kind of tells you where he's at with it. Deaf and determined to not let his hearing hinder him. Well, what he's taught me is sometimes we get focused on maybe what we don't have or what we can't do. And for Rogers, that's never been part of the equation. It's always what he can do. And, and don't tell me what I can't do. Tell me what you need me to do and what I will do. I feel like nothing's impossible in my eyes. And so I kind of just need to do what I need to do in order to adapt and to adjust. Adjusting his skills to perform on a global stage, representing Team USA at the World Deaf Basketball Championships while bringing home the gold. It's an unbelievable opportunity, great experience, uh, not only to represent my country, but actually just to be around the deaf community. And while Rogers' game speaks volumes on the court, it's off the floor, he hopes to silence the critics. I would say that uh, never take no for an answer. Uh, a lot of people said I couldn't do anything, couldn't do certain things, and something that I've always had a chip on my shoulder. I always had that attitude that I want to prove someone wrong, prove something or someone wrong. He attacks everything, basketball, school, life, uh, uh, with that mindset and that's why he has been a success to date and there's no doubt he's going to be a success going forward. No, I try to use my disability to, to, to give people hope that you can achieve what you want to achieve. You just believe it.